Hello everyone, we're going to make a crab cake. This is going to be a great day. You guys went on to the Chesapeake Bay on this trip. Now the first thing, what we have here in a large bowl, we're going to start by putting here a fourth cup of real mayonnaise. You can use low fat, reduced fat, even light, whatever you prefer about any kind of mayonnaise you want. Three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. You can also try with some prepared yellow mustard. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I already beat one large egg. Now we're just going to stir around using a whisk. You see that real quick? Just to get smooth. And let's see how it turns really a good paste. Now I also have this part. 3 4 teaspoons of garlic powder, 2 teaspoons of onion powder, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, 3 4 teaspoons of ground black pepper, and 1 tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning. Just gonna put this right over. I'm gonna give you guys to show you about the Old Bay seasoning. Just went for here in Chesapeake Bay, and it should look like this. I'm going to give that real quick to whisk around. And now you can go ahead and put about 3-4 cup of breadcrumbs. Any kind of breadcrumbs you like, plus more to bread it and coat it for later that. I'm using about Italian style breadcrumbs. You can also use seasoned breadcrumbs or unseasoned breadcrumbs if you can. You can also use a Japanese breadcrumbs which it has with a panko. Just going to keep going. You can see how it really thick batter. I'm just going to switch those from the wire whisk to the rubber spatula. Just almost there for that. Now you can go ahead and plop three six ounce can of crab meat. Whatever kind of crab meat you like, I'm going to use the bumblebee white crab meat because it's going to give me taste great. So that's one, two, and three can. Pop it over. You gotta make sure to drain well. We don't want all the crabs too soggy. And I'm just going to break all the crabs before I'm going to fold it in using with the rubber spatula. Oh, and you can see those peels. Look at this one. It is. This crab has the only plastic from that can. I'm gonna remove that. I'm just gonna. Keep breaking all the crab meats before we're going to fold it in. I'm just going to be any lumpy crab. And this is almost getting turned out together. It looks just breakable of the crab and fold it in. Just make sure it turns out perfectly great. Now, once that, after you just break it and fold it in. I'm going to split the crab mixture into individual portions that depends how many crab cakes whatever you prefer to make. I'm going to use about a slice of each each of the pie mixture which is like I do for the each. I'm going to make about 8 crab cakes. Now you're going to take each portion of the crab mixture. You're going to form it into a patties. Can you see what I'm doing? And you can go ahead just coat it to cover with the breadcrumbs that have it in the other shallows. It's gonna be nice and crunchy. To cover with the breadcrumbs, remaining one. Like I said, for plus more. You're gonna place it onto the cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil. Now you can use a large ice cream scooper to scoop. Each one will shape it into the hamburger patties or even three inch circle cutter to mold it. It will form it and pat and release from the cutter. Here's the cookie sheet that I lined with aluminum foil. And we have everything's well coated until the breadcrumbs has been already covered that and breaded and we're ready to fry it. Now the next thing you want to heat up the non-stick skillet or medium high heat. You want to make sure you have to feel if this is ready you want to get sure how it's going to be nice and slightly hot. You're going to take about 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're just going to swirl around. we we'll get it nice and slightly hot. Now you want to carefully plop all the cakes one by one in the skillet has been already heated with oil. And 
you watch Fridays on both sides for 4 minutes until golden brown. In just 4 minutes, but first I'm going to flip it over. And we're just going to cook to fry another 4 minutes. The total will be 8 minutes. Here we are guys. When the all cakes just almost completely go to brown after fry, you can go ahead, remove from the heat, and ready to plate it up. Here's a crab cake when it looks like this one after it's just been fried. And here's the finished crab cakes. Those perfectly crispy on the outside, just gave me nice and tender rice. If you're interested for more recipes, write down in the comments below if you want to say something. Always have to make sure to view all videos to watch before sharing. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for everyone. You can serve it with your choice as a favorite into sweet with some ketchup, more mustard, more mayonnaise, on the sides on the sides, or even a spoonful of the tartar sauce. I hope you guys, so let's dig in. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video. 